I want to welcome you to a day that in this family will last forever. I want to welcome each of you and I want to thank you for coming to share and be a part of this today. We're going to gather together and celebrate the wedding of Colleen and Josh. You've come here to share in their formal commitment they will make with one another and to offer your love and support for them today. They will begin their married life today. And they are now surrounded by the people who are most dear and who are most important to them. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony is going to create the marriage between you two. Through your love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter. Will you, Josh, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. And will you, Colleen, take this man to be your wedded husband? I will. We have come to the point in the ceremony where Josh and Colleen will exchange their vows. Uh, this morning uh, when we woke up, Colleen said to me, I would prefer to write your vows that you'll say to me instead. <laughs> so apparently you wrote vows that I'm supposed to say to you. I have not read these. <laughs> I promise to admit every day that you are always right. I promise to always leave the house to poop so you don't have to smell it. The grocery store is only a couple of blocks away. I promise to watch The Bachelorette with you and pretend to love every second of it. And lastly, and most importantly, I promise to never grow my hair out to my shoulders like I did in college. Okay, so I wrote, so I wrote vows too, that you say to me. Dearest Joshua, wow, I can't believe we're here. Look at you. Look at that jawline, you're so hot. I scored big time. I promise to shut the door of the bathroom when I do number two. I promise to never force you to watch episodes of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. Those shows are a mockery of love. 
And finally, I promise to still have sexy time with you even when we're old and fat with hairs growing out of weird places. <laughs> now please give me an epic high five and say love you forever. Love you forever! I have real vows, can I say I them? Do you want to go first or me? Sure, I'll go first. The moment that I saw you at JFK Airport, I knew in that moment six years ago that I would never want to share my life with anybody other than you. And so in front of all these people, I promise to choose you. I choose you when things get hard. I will choose you no matter where our careers go. I'll choose you when we're sick. I'll be there for you. I'll protect you with everything that I can. So from this moment on, for the rest of my life, Colleen May Ballinger, I will always choose you. I want to start off by thanking you. Thank you for showing me what love means. Before I met you, I didn't think it existed. Thank you for telling me I'm beautiful when I know I look like a mess. And thank you for choosing me when I made it impossible for you. It was really difficult for me to write vows. I got really emotional, so I asked Bailey and Jacob to help me out. And um, they wrote this, and I think it's perfect. This is what they thought I should promise to you in front of everyone. I promise that I will stay married to you forever. I promise I will love you for my whole life. I promise to cook you some food, some good food. I promise that I love you. I love you very much. By the power vested in me, it's that moment. I now pronounce you, Josh, be Colleen's husband, and Colleen, you are now Josh's wife. <laughs> and now, my son, yes. you may kiss your bride. Okay. <laughs> The day that we met in New York City, um, we thought we felt like the best thing to do was to pull out the video camera, and we filmed ourselves and we talked to the camera the day that we met. And in the video, we addressed our reception at the wedding on the first day we met, and I know that is stupid crazy. We met in person on July 26, 2009, and this is the video we shot the day that we met. This might be shown at our wedding. Listen, oh everyone is watching at the reception. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to this awesome reception.
I remember the first time I saw a room light up with your fans and how they went nuts and I cried. I remember when you met Colleen. I remember you saying that this is it. And I remember being scared for you that you would get hurt. And then I remember meeting Colleen and getting to know her and getting to know how kind and wonderful she is. Everyone hears the music differently, but the dance together is wonderful. Mm -hmm. To me, this so describes you and what you have together. Your Aunt Tanya and I love you very much, and we wish you a long, slow, beautiful dance together. Post. As Evan's women, yes. from now on, are going to stick together yes. and lift each other up. Yes. So here's to Evan's women. You are an awesome big brother, um, always have been, so I know you're going to be a great husband. So, And you, just watching you with your family, um, I know you'll be just as good for him. So. Mm. So I, I just really want to thank you because I wouldn't be here. I would be in Australia doing something stupid and it would suck and I wouldn't have a kid and another kid on the way and I wouldn't have my wife. So thank you for having a stupid character <laughs> that has brought not just me but a lot of people you together. You two together. The one Sean. thing that I've learned about love is no matter how much you want it, no matter how much you seek it, and no matter how much you strive for it, it doesn't happen until the right person comes along. Being there for the very beginning of your guys' relationship and remembering how special it was, and it's really special to be a, have been a part of that from the very beginning and seeing the entire journey that you guys have been on, and I'm so thankful I've been able to be here. I love you guys so much, and I, I, I just I couldn't wish you more wonderful and happiness. No one said it yet, and I know Colleen wrote something on the way in, but. Grandma and Grandpa would be so happy about this. Yeah. Wayne and Joanne would just be so happy. So if you guys could just raise your hands, raise your glasses, whatever you got, and yes. pour one out for Wayne and Joanne Ballinger. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, the first time I met you, it felt like getting a big hug. Like that's that's really the best way I can describe it. And I feel like everyone feels that way when they meet you for the first time. It's like getting this big bear hug of of genuine like I'm happy to meet you and, and be with you and that has just continued throughout uh, our relationship the, getting to know you more and welcome to our family it's remarkable and your journey has it's really inspiring and it's to me <laughs> proof that like the marriage can withstand anything he is just as important to me as Colleen. They're my, ch they're my child's <laughs> godparents. Like, it's, they're a pair. They come together. And it, it's from that, like Christopher said, the moment you meet him, he just hugs you. He hugs your personality, and I can't picture her with anybody else. But yeah, I just want to thank you because when I'm not around, I know she's safe. And I know that sometimes you and I joke that I'm born manly or something, but I want you to know that I think you are the strongest man because I know you would protect her, you would do anything. You'd kill any bug. <laughs> you would go out anybody that anybody, anyone that tried to hurt her, I know you would protect her with every bit of you. And so I want to say thank you so much because it makes me feel so safe and happy knowing she's with someone who could probably protect her more than I could. And I don't think I've ever said that. <laughs> like, I am the strongest person, I think. But I want to say thank you because I know you'll protect her so much more than I ever could. So thank you. And I love you guys.